Until recently, New York law obligated parents to pay child support, that is, uh, non-custodial parents, to pay child support until the child reached the age of 21 years. Now, uh, parents frequently would get together and work out an agreement where one of them would pay child support until 22, that being the age typically when a child would graduate from college. Recently, however, and sort of flying under the radar, New York has joined 40 other states in enacting new legislation which supports parents of adult children with developmental disabilities in incredibly allowing child support to be paid through the age of 26. This is new law. This is groundbreaking. And again, not much fanfare, not publicized, but the significance and import of this new legislation cannot be overemphasized. In reading reports, this can affect as much as 13 to 14 million children, and 25% of homes have been identified with having more than one child with such needs. In fact, a recent autism report indicated that it could cost a million two to a million four to pay for support for a child affected with these issues. So, where is this law contained? It's in the New York Mental Hygiene Law. And what the law generally is talking about, what it's seeking to do, is identifying intellectual cognitive disabilities such as neurological disorders, cerebral palsy, epilepsy. There's what they're targeting. But three important points here. Any other condition which causes a disability and satisfies the protocol can also qualify. Two, the, the diagnosis or the condition must exist in a child before the child is 22 years of age. And third, and most importantly, even if a child is no longer receiving support, whether they've aged out or never received support in the, uh, in the past, they can still qualify under this law and file for support before they're 26 years of age. So what are we talking about here again? We're talking about cognitive disabilities, uh, intellectual, emotional issues. But what the law is really concerned about is that these individuals are impaired so that they cannot function in society. They maybe can't hold a job or earn a living. And that's what the law is really targeting. Parents in other states where this law is already in effect have done really well. Optimum results if they meet with professionals, their matrimonial family law attorneys who can amass the information and evidence required to convince a court. And what kind of records are we talking about? Medical records, doctor's notes, school records, affidavits from individuals with knowledge, and sworn testimony. These are key in proving to a court that this individual needs help and that the parents need financial assistance. So this is a really important piece of legislation. I, um, I think that in the next few months, we will see how the courts handle this, how, what kind of scrutiny they apply to it. We will, of course, follow these cases and get back to you as how the courts are handling it, especially if different needs are now required. But I'm making this presentation for all parents, but especially for parents with children with special needs. This law is not widely publicized. I urge you to meet with a professional, a family law attorney, an expert as soon as possible to see if this law can benefit you and your family.